What's up guys, David Churwack here, and today it is time for the 20th episode of Top 5 Tricks of the Week. And since this is the 20th episode, I've chosen 20 tricks out of all the episodes I've done in this series, and I've narrowed it down to the best trick out of the whole series. I'm gonna be showing all 20, but I'll give the standings for each one. And I actually did a poll on Instagram for each trick, so you guys voted which tricks you think were better. And some of the matches surprised me, some of the, some of the clips that won really surprised me, but that made it interesting. So if you wanna see all the results, you can check out my Instagram and I have a story highlight that's called top 20 tricks. You can click on that, click through and see all the results if you haven't seen it already. But we're just gonna jump right into this. I made a bracket right here on this piece of paper. And first off, in the first match here, we had the six tap solar flare versus the 10 tap border. And the six tap solar flare won in that round. So we're gonna watch the 10 tap border. We're gonna save the six tap solar flare for later. This, before I play it, it's a trick by Caden Weller. You guys know Caden Weller, he's absolutely insane. Don't know if he really plays Dama that much anymore, but um, I had to get this clip from my YouTube video when I reacted to it because he took it off Instagram. So that's why it's a little bit lower quality, but just check this clip out, it's crazy. 10 tap, border bounce. Are you kidding me? That's why this trick is in the top 20 tricks. But it did lose in the first round, so it's kind of at the bottom right now. It did have a tough opponent though. The six tap solar flare is a really tough trick as well. So 10 tap, border balance, lost to uh, six tap solar flare, 59% to 41%. So not super close, but not a huge landslide either. So let's move into the next round here. The next round is Liad's eight tap times eight tap versus Hiroto Mahdi's 12 tap. So the eight tap times eight tap actually won in that clip, in that match, I mean. Um, it won 58% to 42%. So we'll talk about the eight tap clip later, but here's the 12 tap that it was matched up against by Hiroto Mahdi. Absolutely insane. How? It is on a jumbo, but still crazy. If you guys haven't seen this clip from Hiroto Mahdi, it's, it's insane. 12 tap, and he did go to Lighthouse, so I was honestly kind of surprised by this match. I thought the 12 tap might win. I thought it would be a little bit closer at least, but apparently Liad's trick was a lot better in lots of people's minds, so we'll move on from there. Eight tap times eight tap, moving on to the next round. The next matchup we have here is Ben Harold's Day 30 Goon Circle trick versus Bonzatron's Jumbo trick. And Bonza's jumbo trick won 57, 53% to 47%, so not super, it was pretty close. So this is a pretty interesting matchup, but we're gonna watch the Ben Harold trick here. I decided to, okay, before I watch this, I decided to throw this in. This wasn't actually in any of the previous episodes, but Ben Harold had been killing it in March, so I had to throw one of his clips in. So just, just watch this, this is the slow-mo version. How does he even do these tricks? Pinches the string there and then the Tama taps the Ken, catches the Ken and somehow the hole is just right there, ready for him to spike. I just, how does he even, I don't understand how he can make the Tama spin perfectly to where the hole is just right there. That's the hardest part to these tricks. That's what I think at least. Ugh, it's just insane. So Bonds took that round, like I said, um, next one here we had, I knew this one wasn't going to be super close, but I had to put them together because there were two axe tricks. So we had Kyle Diller's insane one, two, three, four, five axe flips versus Hiroto Mahdi's insane eight turn axe flip. And not by surprise really, the eight turn axe flip won 61% to 39%. So we'll leave the eight turn axe for now, but we're going to check out the one, two, three, four, five axe. This is absolutely insane. Just just watch this. I, I don't know if you guys seen this clip yet, but if you guys don't know who Kyle Diller is, make sure to follow him on Instagram because he kills it. Crazy. 
wait, was that the quint? I forget. Yeah, that was the quint. So super consistent at axes, as you can see, but the eight turn ax won, like I said, 61% to 39%. So eight turn ax moved on to the second round. Um, next match we have here is a Sunt Eddie, which means I am Eddie. That's his Instagram name. His tightrope flip versus Jacob Treble's triple spike tap border balance. And the tightrope flip won 57% to 43%, which I'm not surprised by. In my opinion, I think Jacob, Tre Jacob Treble's trick is harder, but I do have lots of Romanian viewers, and he is a Romanian Kanama player, so I knew they would support him. But yeah, the tightrope flip moved on. And this is the clip that did not move on, but it's still super sick. Jacob Treble, triple spike tap, border balance. This clip is insane. Just watch. How do you even do triple spike tap? Insane. Wow. Just wow. If you guys don't know who Jacob Treble is, you're... He must be living under a rock or something because he uploads or posts uploads posts the most insane bangers on instagram so check him out he owns cobra kanama as well so yeah tight rope flip moved on beat the triple spike tap border balance let's move to the other side of the bracket now we have the six tap or no wait 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 we have the 50 turntables from hiroto Mati, and it's going against hiroto Mati's other trick insane trick six tap no hole wing so, okay, this, this matchup was super close. It ended up, it shows on Instagram as 50% to 50%, but really, if you click on the results, which I did, the six tap no hole wing won by two votes, two people. Um, the 50 turntables got 157 and the six tap no hole wing got 159. So that was really surprising to me. I thought the 50 turntable was gonna take it easy, like a landslide. But apparently the six tap no hole wing won by two votes. So that's moving on to the second round, but let's watch the 50 turntable. If you guys haven't seen this already, this is just insane. Hiroto Mati is too good at turntables. I do not understand it. I was watching the Sweets live stream and Matt Sweets was talking about Hiroto Mati. Modi Mati, don't know how to say his last name, but Apparently, Matt Sweets asked him what the secret to turntables is, and all he said was do this with your pointer finger. So, if you guys want to get good at turntables, just do this little motion with your pointer finger, and you'll be able to do 50 like him. I don't even know that how that helps, but apparently it does. So, yeah, shout out to Hiroto for landing 50 turntables. I'm really surprised that one did not make it through, but whatever. You guys voted on it, so... Yeah, let's move on to the next one here. Um, now we have two Bryson Lee clips in this one. We have a quad juggle with quad Ken flips back to handle stall. And we have a around triple juggle with triple Ken flips to bird. So both of these clips are crazy. The four times four trick to handle one, 65% to 35%. I wasn't really surprised by that, but both of them are crazy. So we'll leave the handle saw clip for now and we'll check out the bird clip. This one is insane. I, I just don't get it. How is he so consistent with juggles to bird? I don't know. So as you can see, lands the first one, nice and simple. Second one here, triple, triple, triple. Look at that Tama control guys. If you want to learn, well, I guess you can't really learn it from this, but if you want to see some top-notch Tama control, just watch Bryson Lee's clips. He is he has the most insane Tama control. So, shout out Bryson Lee. Um, that one lost, but the four times four trick to handle moved on. So that's how that matchup went. Next matchup here, we have the six turn inward stilt from Nick Stodd versus the doubles. Uh, quint stilt flip so Nick Stodd and Nick Gallagher both doing quint stilt flips the uh, doubles quint stilt flip beat the six turn by 67% to 33% I thought that one was gonna be a little bit closer but it wasn't apparently the doubles quint is way harder so we'll check out the six turn right now because the doubles quint is moving on on the Zach mod look at that insane are you kidding me Nick Stodd 
get out of here. I feel like this video is really frantic and I'm talking really fast, but I'm trying to get through it fast because it's kind of, it's gonna take a while. So um, yeah, the doubles quint still flip moved on from that round and both of those were insane clips, but let's move into the next matchup. This is a five times five times five clip by Bryson Lee. I don't really feel like saying the whole trick. And then just an insane, insane banger by So Canada. So the So Canada clip actually won 52% to 48%. I'm not really surprised by that. His clip was crazy. So we'll check out the Bryson Leak clip, the five times five times five, which is right here. It is insane. So five tap, five late Ken flip. I don't understand. Five late Ken flip. Five tap, jug spike. I mean, I had to throw that clip in the top 20 here because it was insane. So all these ones I'm going through right now, by the way, are all tied for kind of last pretty much. So keep that in mind. These are all at the bottom. They're still insane tricks, but they're not the best out of this list. So the last matchup we have here is an insane trick by Alex Mitchell, an insane solar flare and border balance trick versus Nick Gallagher's string grip double stilt tray. And Alex Mitchell's clip, I just made some weird sounds there. Alex Mitchell's clip won 69% to 31%, I think, yep. 69% to 31% against the double string grip double stilt tray. So we're gonna watch this one since Alex Mitchell moved on. Crazy trick by Nick Gallagher right here. String grips were really popular recently. I don't see as much of them anymore, but they're still crazy. Double still tray. String grip, are you kidding me? Like, so insane. All right, Nick Gallagher's crazy, we already know that. Let's move on to the, I guess you could say quarterfinals. That's what they would be kind of called. And the first matchup here that we have in the quarterfinals is the six tap solar flare versus the eight tap times eight tap from Liad. So in this one, the eight tap times eight tap won, um, 51% to 49%, so pretty close, but the eight tap took it home. So let's watch the six tap solar flare. You guys have probably already seen it, but if you haven't, here it is. It's insane, I know it's low quality, but there it is, six tap solar flare. Caden Weller's insane, so surprisingly, the eight tap times eight tap beat that. I don't know if I agree with it, but I can kind of see how you would think that. So let's move into the next mashup here. We have the Bonds Jumbo Trick versus the eight turn axe flip from So. So this one was really surprising to me. I was not expecting Bonds to win this one because eight turn axe flip is insane, but he actually won 52% to 48%, which is insane. I was not expecting that, but since Bonds moves on, let's check out um, Hiroto Mati's clip, which is the eight turn axe flip and just watch this, it's insane. Like how? So the ones I'm going through right now would be fourth place. They would all be tied for fourth place in this bracket, so keep that in mind. Insane, eight turn axe flip, Perotal Mati's crazy. So let's move on to the next one here. We have the tightrope flip from Asunt Eddie. I'll just call him Eddie from now on. And the solar flare clip from Alex Mitchell. So the one that actually took it on this one was the solar flare. Alex Mitchell, his clip won 53% to 47%. Um, I kind of messed up the bracket right here and this is kind of an extra one. So Alex Mitchell's clip isn't able to really go to the semifinals, so I'm sorry about that. I totally messed up the bracket right there. But we're just gonna say he's in fourth place as well. Uh, no, we'll say he's in third place as well. But we're gonna watch both clips right now. We have the tightrope flip from Eddie right here. Insane. He got it first try on a live stream on Instagram. How are kids doing this, this these days? First try. How? Just, I don't get it. And then we have the winner of this match, Alex Mitchell's insane clip right here. Just watch this. If you guys haven't seen this, Solar Flare, triple can flip, I think. Insta, inwards, border balance flip. I don't, I don't get it. Let's, I just wanna watch that one more. It's only seven seconds. So this is technically 
tied for third place with a couple of others. So, insane. Shout out Alex Mitchell, always killing the dawn of the game. Let's move into the next quarterfinal match here. We have the six tap no hole wing by Hiroto Madi versus the four times four trick by Bryson Lee to handle stall. So in this one, the six tap no hole wing won 42% or 52% to 48%. So we'll leave that trick for later. We'll move into the four times four juggle to handle. So Bryson Lee just killing it with this clip. If it would load, please, thank you. Um, so this is four juggles and these are quad Ken flips. Quad, 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 quad to handle. Once again, you could see the Tom control there. It's absolutely insane the way he controls that. And it just, it's there perfectly like every time. Bryson Lee's insane, you guys already know this. Um, let's move into the next quarterfinal match here. We have the doubles quint stilt flip versus the insane banger from So Canada or So Canada. Um, the doubles quint stilt flip actually won 59% to 41%. So I wasn't that surprised by that one, but we'll leave the doubles quint stilt flip for, we'll leave that for later. Let's watch the So Canada clip right here. It's insane. So quad tap. One, two, three, four, three, two, one. Ken flip juggles, quad tap, juggle bird, and he scoops it. I don't get it. Just one more time here, how he scoops the bird. Look at that. He just scoops it out of the air. Insane. So Kanata, killing it. Unfortunately, his clip didn't move on, but that's all right. Um, I think that's it for the quarterfinals now so those were except for the solar flare clip the solar flare clip is in third and those clips that didn't move on were in fourth place so now we're going to move into the semifinals. we're moving down to the last four clips here i hold it held up a two when i said four four clips um first we have the six tap no hole wing versus the doubles quint still flip and the six tap no hole wing actually won this round. I, for some reason, I don't have the percentages here. Where did I put them? Yeah, for some reason I didn't put how much they won by, but the six tap no hole wing won. Um, so we're gonna check out the doubles quint still flip here. It is insane. Where did I put it? Oh my goodness, where is it? Here it is. So if you guys haven't seen this trick, it's crazy. Nick Stodd and Nick Gallagher. That's a quint still, by the way. It's it's crazy. I don't get it. I don't get how people can be this good at Kanama. It's honestly discouraging. I don't get how two people can be this good at Kanama. All right. Yeah, we know. Quint, Quint still flip two people at the same time. It's crazy. But like I said, the six tap no hole wing beat that clip. So that clip was in third place. The doubles Quint still flip tied with third place with that solar flare clip from Alex Mitchell. Let's move into the next semifinals matchup here. We have the eight tap times eight tap Liad's trick versus Bonds, the Bonds jumbo trick. This one isn't that surprising. Obviously the eight tap times eight tap is gonna win. Like I said, I don't remember, I don't didn't write down the percentages here. So I don't really know how much it won by. I, you guys can check on Instagram, but here's the trick that lost to the eight tap times eight tap. Bonzatron's insane jumbo trick. This is a huge Kanama. Balances it on its foot. First off, like, I feel like that Kanama would be so heavy. Doing a line with it would get so tiring. It's insane, guys. And then this balance. This is what really made it appear in the top 20 tricks, because how? How do you do that? He's just so controlled. Look at that focus. And then this Ender, well, not really ender, but like, how do you do a late Ken flip with juggles? Insane. Bonds is literally not human. He is from another planet. Uh, I think we all know that by now, but all right, let's move into the finals here. These are the top two clips. So we have the eight tap times eight tap versus from Liad versus Hiroto Modi or Modi's six tap no hole wing so yeah let's just get into this um the eight tap times eight tap took the win 
over the six tap no hole wing 59% to 41%. I was honestly kind of surprised by that, but apparently the eight tap times eight tap is the best trick out of all the episodes I've done. So that's crazy. Um, we'll watch the six tap no hole wing and then we'll leave the first place winner for last. So this is in second place, six tap no hole wing, insane. I think what might have done it is that he didn't really hold this for three seconds. If he held it for three or four seconds, I feel like this might have won, but I don't know. Let's move into the winner of this whole competition and the best trick according to you guys and partially me of 2017 slash 2018. Eight tap, juggle, eight tap, juggle, spike. And he just does that. He just shrugs. One more time since this is the first place. Oh my goodness. Crazy. 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 And he's just like, whatever. It's just eight tap times eight tap. I do that in my sleep. But yeah, that's it for the top 20 tricks, I guess. Thank you to everyone who voted on Instagram. Uh, it definitely helped because this would be a lot harder if I didn't have some input. And yeah, that's gonna do it. Um, personally, I would have chosen 50 turntables to be the number one overall winner, but you guys have some different opinions, which is obviously okay. And it was definitely fun making those videos for the story and getting you guys to vote. And yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. Comment down below if you agree with the first place winner in this video. And next week, I'm gonna be going back to the normal top five tricks of the week so you can Direct message me your Instagram, Instagram clips for next week. And yeah, if you guys liked this video, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.